it on. Let me fix the camera here. Everybody's going to get all jacked up a little, for a little bit. Is it going up all the way? All right, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so today, welcome back. It's another episode of Gaming Madness. And today we're going to talk about a video game called Destruction Derby 2. And believe it or not, this is not on NES. I've been doing a lot of NES reviews, but I'm going to kind of be jumping back and forth, talking about different games. This game, and, and you might think, well, well, Brad, why are you starting with Destruction Derby 2? I played it. That's about it. Um, I never played Destruction Derby 1. I, I actually believe I did. But I didn't really play it enough to really give it a full review. And, you know, some of these games I'll probably never play. So, and this game, believe it or not, was on PlayStation 1. So I could actually get this game back again and play it. So I would, if, if my son, which I know he watches my videos sometimes, if my son watches this, we could end up getting this game and playing it some soon. Sometimes soon. You never know. It's a pretty fun game. You know what it is? All right. So it's Destruction Derby 2. So essentially this was basically a Demolition Derby game. It was awesome. I loved it. It was cool. Uh, I remember my friend uh, getting this game and uh, my computer just shut off. Anyway, um, um, so my friend got this game and I remember playing with him and I was like, man, this is so fun. And, and then I ended up, I think, I think uh, renting it from the same place he got it from because I didn't know they had it. Um, I ended up getting a PS2, I believe, at one point, and renting the game um, when there were still places to rent stuff, and uh, it was an awesome game. I, I loved it. It I can't really explain why it's so good, because there's been other games like this, but this game just did it right, you know, and uh, I don't know what else to say about this game. It's just really good. Um, Destruction Derby 2, you know, it's... It, you, you pick your car. I don't really remember much, honestly, about it, but I know it's a Demolition Derby game, and I just remember it being so much fun that you, it, it, it just worked. Like, some of these games, you, you, some of these racing games, I mean, I'm not a racing person. I don't really like racing games. I've tried to play Gran Turismo. I'm just not a big fan of it. I don't, I don't like the way that the controls are wonky. Uh, I just don't understand the racing aspect, you know. Um, a lot of people are going to bash me, but Mario Kart, uh, you know, I like it, but I'm not like a big fanatic about it, you know, like everybody else is. I'm saying it's all awesome. It's awesome. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not. Uh, but that, that's like, I'll do that review some other time. Um, but, you know, Destruction Derby 2 was, you know, it's one of those games that's really close to my heart. And, and that's what this series is about. You know, I'm probably going to talk about games that I really enjoy. And some of the other games I'm going to talk about that I have played, and I'll probably give my honest review. Um, later on, but I'm kind of just hitting the games that I, that I know of that I really like, and this was one of the ones that really kind of resonated with me. It's actually probably one of the last video games that I can honestly say. I mean, besides uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, um, which I'll go on that in another video, um, but Destruction Derby 2 was really like one of the last games that on the PS1, I believe, that I played before PS2 um, came out, and I actually think PS2 was out when we, we were playing this game because I believe my friend had a PS2 and he was playing this game um, but on there so but the game is really good the controls work really well and, and that always helps too you know if the, if the control buttons are wonky if they don't really sync up with the game and you're like hitting this button with button over here you're supposed to be hitting it's sometimes they place the buttons or say put the setup on the buttons kind of weird and uh this game just worked. I, I liked it. I was I was I was good at it. I, I liked it, and, and that's what helps too. If you if you learn how to play it and it clicks with you, and you're good at a game. You want to continue to play it more. If you if it's a hard game and you keep losing, for me, I step away from it because it's just if it's way way too difficult, and I can never figure it out. My computer's restarting over there, being weird. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'll step away from it. So this game is really good. Uh, Destruction Derby 2, if you've never checked it out on the PS1, um, if you have a PS3, you can play it. I don't, I think PS4, can you play PS1 games on the PS4? I don't know. Um, I got a PS3, so uh, I know you can play it on there. Um, but definitely check it out on the PS1. Uh, Destruction Derby 2, there you go. Comment down below if you've ever played it. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, let me know what you think about Destruction Derby, the original one, because I think I played it, but it just didn't, I just didn't, didn't really care for it. So, but, um, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't as good as Turn 2, for some reason. It was kind of, I, I felt, I think, with Destruction Derby 1, 
if I remember right, it seemed like the buttons were a little bit odd on it. And it, there was something different about it. And when 2 came out, they did something different. Um, I think the Disruption Derby 1 was just a racing game, if I believe right. And then they added the Demolition Derby thing on number 2, if I believe right. Because I remember renting that one and it being different. So, there you go. Uh, comment, like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video. I uh, keep coming back for more content on Gaming Madness. Like I said, my on, on these other videos that I recorded uh, today, uh, the Gaming Madness videos my son may join me at some point. So look out for that. He's great. He's moving his arms around. I'm talking about gaming. He loves games as well. Plays them all the time. He's a Five Nights at Freddy's crazy guy. Um, and likes Minecraft to death. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed all the content coming out lately and uh, it's going to be continuing to come out, hopefully getting a little bit better with that. And uh, keep watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later. Keep rocking.